Hello and welcome to our last round of Digimon for the week. We <laughs> are lagging. Fantastic. <laughs> Final cut, ladies and gentlemen. On the left, we have Dustin playing Black Yellow Rookie Rush. On the right, we have Terrence Pan playing Lord Nightmon. Uh, which is interesting because if you watched last week, our third round had Terrence Pan playing Black Yellow Rookie Rush against Lord Nightmon. So it's interesting. We have like a, a flip dynamic. Dustin was not playing Lord Nightmon. Dustin, I think, exclusively plays Rookie Rush these days. He wants to play small people and attack with them. Which I guess I understand. Now, the black yellow version of Rookie Rush is pretty cool. Uh, it focuses more on the Commandermon chain instead of just being pure rookies. Like, Dustin's going to evolve people, and it's, it's kind of cool. And then Lord Knight is pretty, pretty run of the mill. There is a couple differences here. Actually, you can see them, at least one of them revealed right there <laughs> yeah uh he's playing omnimon's work defeat and i don't know what the purple card is but i'm sure it might come up now this work defeat's cool because off of the coatmon you can it says you can add up to a warrior it's look at the top five add up to one or add up the two warriors or holy warriors and sport defeat is a holy warrior so you get to play a three drop and add them it's kind of cool. A little terrifying, but kind of cool. Right. I don't know the name of any of the black rookies. Actually, I don't really know the name of any of the rookies. I'm not going to lie to you. But Dustin's going to attack in. His guy's going to die. Because, you know, it's a rookie. And it punched into a level 5. All right, plays the Commander Mon, or Mini Commander Mon Boy, and passes. He also has the Owl. Terrence flips a baby, evolves into Bushi, draws a card. Dustin's version of the deck was a little interesting. Uh, I think I remember. I think Terrence played more yellow cards than Dustin currently plays. All right, there's the blocker. Pulsemon or Pulsemon, Starmon to take out the Commandermon and pass him. Yeah, I, I think I like the yellow variant more. The black stuff is interesting, don't get me wrong. But I like the version that goes heavy into yellow and then splashes another color. I know Tyler, who's usually here doing commentary with, with me, uh, he plays green ye or yellow green rookie rush, where it's primarily yellow with a, with a green splash. And that's interesting. I'm not in love with it. The needle spray card I think he plays is okay. Uh, I'm not about it. Though he does have a, se uh, <laughs> a secret tech, quote quote, that he's been playing in his Rookie Rush deck that I actually don't hate. I don't know if Dustin's playing it. I know they talk about Rookie Rush a lot. But it, it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, he's got three guys on the board. Two blockers, a Starmon. Provides the Bushi. Attacks in. And the attacks in uses the Pikmon effect to minus 1k to the. I don't know the name of it. I know it's the one that says you can't gain memory through effects, or your opponent can't gain memory through effects during your, their turn. So you can't, like, blinding ray for two. There's a TK, puts dust on the two, and he gets to look at his life and take a card and put it in his hand. And if it's a yellow card, he gets to recover from plus one. TK is a wild tamer. And it's a memory tamer. Like, if it just did that, I'd, it'd still be really good, right? But, like, it gives you memory if your opponent tries to put you to one. And he's like, no, nah, I'm at three now. Mm -hmm. I think Dustin is playing the thing that Tyler wants to do. Yeah, that's his work defeat in his hand. Uh, the rationale behind it is if it's in your life, it's just a free guy who can attack into just about anything. And if he dies, I mean, he pops something on the board. Hang and swing in. Trying to crack security. He's just gonna block it. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Why would you let your opponent do damage to you? Right. 
attack into it. To finish it off with the Owl Man. I wonder if Dustin plays any yellow babies at all. I would imagine he doesn't, because he wants to ensure his level 3 is evolved to draw a card. Alright, so this guy on play, he uh, puts multiple... I think, I think Commandromon is like the archetype. Puts multiple Commandromon cards on top of the deck in any order. So we're going to see Terrence read the card. I believe he asks Dustin if he can see the order of the cards. It's a quick and easy thing to show him, too. That's not a problem. Alright. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't... He can't play any of the yellow rookies. But I'm, he has to be playing Spiral Masquerade. Card's just too good to not play. Looks like there's a Valder Arm in Terrence's hand. Potentially missing a Lord Knight. Right, it looks like Water Arm on the far right. I think yeah, he's, he's, he's got this Ward Defeat that we saw earlier. I don't think he has a Lord Knight. I don't think he has a level 5. A level 4 blocker. So a Star Mom, which is pretty cool. Because he can shoot down one of the rookies here, I'm pretty sure. I think the pulse one from the, the raising area. Hey, I'm gonna try and crack into security. I'm gonna hit a bushi. I'm sure that's the big, yeah. It's gonna evolve into his work feet, kill on the TK. It's interesting, it's not pure rookie rush. It has elements to it. He was talking last, or he was talking last night, I record these on Wednesdays, he was talking on Tuesday uh, about how his deck has other thought trees, like thought decision lines, besides just playing tiny boys and attacking with them. Like, right there, he, he evolved in his work defeat. So now if Terrence puts a Lord Nightmon on the board, thus we can just swing into the Nightmon, pop it, and then kill something else on the board if he needs to. Starmon's gonna die. Imagine if Bushi and Pulsemon are gonna come in and attack soon. Not really a reason not to. At least, I would say, at least there's one of them. He's gonna check, he's gonna hit Masquerade, he's gonna kill the Bushi. Does Lord Nightmon get the buff during all turns or just four turns? Lord of Night. It's all one word. I think it's the thing I forget the most when looking at big ones. All turns, yeah, he's he is just con oh, this is constantly bigger. Yes, I keep forgetting like, I'll go to like look up uh, I'll go to like look up a Digimon and then I completely just <laughs> I'll space it out because I think Lord Nightmon. Nope, one word. And the worst is like when they are separated by space, because I'll get like into the habit <laughs> of typing it in properly, or like typing it in as one word, and then I'll just be like, nope, get wrecked. Alright, playing out two more guys. Cracks into the Pulsemon, cracks into security, hits another Pulsemon. The Lightning Sonic is down. Anybody's made the really bad joke of saying Pulse Pond is the regional variant for Pikachu. Or 
for the Digimon regional variant for Pikachu. I'm sure someone out there has. Someone's already beat me to the punch. Alright, flip it over to Pikmon. Got a, lot, got a lot of thinking going on about what we're trying to do here. I don't think he has enough memory. He doesn't have enough memory to win this turn. Because I think both of the blockers make you pay to, to attack with them. That or one of them probably says you can't attack or something like that. He's got the TK in his hand. Which is like a safe play, I guess, but I don't know if it's the correct one. Right, he's gonna hard cast a night mom to kill one of the smaller dudes, the rookies. Dust Declaration looks like it'd be a bit more resilient to Hexablau, just because everything he has has source materials underneath of it right now. Like I said, it looks like he plays a lot more level 4s and stuff to evolve into. Alright, so we're going to attack in, gonna hit a Lord Knight and kill it. Attacks him with his work defeat, hits the rabbit. He has two more attacks this turn. Tanks has a loose amount in hand. Still has the Valder arm. Can't really tell what else is there. In. Cracks itself on the security. I mean, he does have enough memory now if Dustin doesn't have any blockers. Text the Nightmon. Super familiar with the entire commander on chain to know if whether or not he has. I guess one of them's a blocker, otherwise, he would have just attacked, right? Maybe a security attack or recovery plus one. This is the Lucimon. Let's look at commander mod. All the cards. Yeah, the one on the far right is a blocker. Okay. It's a rookie blocker. That's pretty cool. Cool. And then, yep, that's going to be game for Terrence. Oh, no, I thought they were scooping. Oh, no. <laughs> I've let that's game for Dustin. It looked like a Dustin. It looked like Dustin had scooped up his cards. I was like, that's strange. I could have sworn he won game one. All right, we're gonna take a quick pause here, and then we're gonna cut to game two. And we're back with game two. With Dustin not being on the play this time. Terrence will be on the play. 
Let's see if Terrence can get a game win or two in the last two weeks. Terrence has gone undefeated on stream. So let's see if that streak continues or not. I think every time that we've had Rookie Rush versus Lord Knight on, and I think this is three weeks in a row that we've had this, that Rookie Rush has won against Lord Knight. But we'll see. Terrence is very simply going up to the rabbit, putting Dustin at one. Quick, simple, and easy turn. Plays the two drop to move him back to one. Promotes it. the rabbit. I should really learn his name. I keep wanting to say Terrymon, but that's not it. Terrymon's the dog. Pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna hard play the blocker. It's a way to get the deck going, I mean. Or to at least prevent your opponent from getting their deck going. So one of the, like, the common strategies for Rookie Rush is just to put a bunch of dudes on the board at once and then try and win in one turn. And honestly, I mean, it makes sense to me. But. Just because, like, swinging one at a time and then passing leaves you open for your stuff to get cracked into. And then all your guys die. Uh, the issue, like, I'm going, like, I don't know. The issue you're trying to do them all at once is you open yourself up for like Spiral Masquerade or a couple Star Monsters kind of ruin your day. Okay, attacks in. Dies on the crack. Gonna get the death trigger. And that's the one that when it dies, you I think it's look at the top three and you get to play one of the scout or whatever the army archetype is called. You get to play one for free if they're level four or lower, or level three or lower. Okay. Cracks into his war defeat. <laughs> now Terrence just has his war defeat. The card is absurd, man. Like it adds an element to it. It's like, all right, I can hit my opponent, do a damage to them, and maybe give them a 13k attacker. It does something if it dies. Terrence has to learn on your hand. I don't think this is level 5, though. It's like the main issue. He has a blinding race, so he can go up to, he can go up to 3 play or evolve into a level 5 and then evolve into Lord Knight but I don't know if that's worth it might just be better to get like your attack in here with the this wart so do you hit stack security or do you just hit the, the creature I guess you could swing one of the bushies in because that pulls one I think the one thing you don't swing is you don't loot the swing roll before you die. And you just leave that. Hopefully it'll evolve your train on top of. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Taryn swings in with the level 4. He gonna hit life or he hits the pulse mod, okay. Then minus is a thousand to the other guy. Uh, 
and attack security with Kabushi, and then use his Pokemon to mine the house and all that. I don't even know what the I don't know that one's named, and I can't describe it. I don't know what the heck it's supposed to be. It's the one that prevents you from gaining memory. So now, if Aaron's supposed to do, he can mine it, right? Alright, tax him with the... This is worth defeat. Definitely not dying to the Starmon. Alright, rolls into level 5. Looks like a Nightmon. Looks like both people are on three security. We're in an interesting spot. Okay, plays a pulse bond. I think he gets both effects now. So he only costs two and then he gets to draw a card. We're swinging out. Aaron has a blocker. He has a spiral in his hand. Spiral kill him with here. He kills the two guys. I guess that's what matters the most. Lower Terrence's threat density. Well, you might have just gave him too much time, or too much memory. <laughs> time. God, that's from Bandai's Chrono Clash game. The predecessor to Digimon. Right, Tax him with the Nightmon. The Lord Nightmon. Let's see what this summon. Uh, he has a Nightmon in hand. Cool. So he kills one of the guys. He's going to take a life here. Using the Pikmon effect to reduce the left fella by one. So we're just going to swing in. Catches a Masquerade. And we kill the, night man, the, the Nightmon. I almost said Nightman, and that would have just. Always sunny in Philadelphia means. Okay. Play a Starmon here. Shoot down the Pulse Mon. This game looks like it's definitively in Terrence's favor. Um, I think that's worth defeat, man. That's just. Like, obviously, Terrence was able to get up to Lord Nightmon, but like. So it's hard to remove. He's beefy, so he's not gonna die on any of the security swings. And if he does, he takes a Digimon with him. Card is so good. To reference local Digimon player Tyler Hawk, it's so good. Alright, this one's gonna evolve. Pull the card. Looks like he drew a blind gray. Pulsemon. <laughs> Terrence picked up the TK. Not that he really needs it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's his game. Attack with Lord Nightmon. Shoot the pulse uh, one. Some sword defeat of Zen. And unless those guys are blockers, the game's just over, right? Does, command, does the commander line, line have a second set of blockers? Answer my question, they are indeed blockers. Unless that's the blocker I saw earlier. Might be. Um, 
those two. He could swing his board defeat and his board defeat. Because then he gets to pop the Walter Arm as well. And if he has a blocker in hand, or something to stop the star. Oh, he gets Starmon for Starmon. That's petty. I love it. Because he's a thousand. <laughs> It's technically correct gameplay, but it's petty correct gameplay that we love the most. Alright, yep, swings into support defeat. It's gonna pop the Valder Arm. Valder Arm dies against two memory. Can I play this? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stays out for the Star Mall. Arc? Yeah, Starmon for Starmon. Alright. Now Terrence has to Starmon for Starmon. <gasps> he drew the Starmon. Give me the pettiness. Let's go. As long as Dustin doesn't draw a blocker or a way to kill the Starmon, I mean. Oh no, he needs. Yeah, it's game. I was like, Terrence has the guy in the back. Alright, so it's now 1-1 one, one between Rookie Rush and Lord Nightmon. Let's move on to game three. Should be starting up in a hot second. Boom, there it is. Alright, Dustin starting this off. Falls on top of the rookie, or puts a rookie on top of the baby. Plays a full spawn. Upstar Goblin is a good card, man. Bushi. TK. Grabs a Lord Knight from the stack, too. So good. I think Pulsemon turn one is probably the worst of your rookies that you can play. Well, maybe not the worst, but like playing a three drop. Uh, rookie turn one, probably not the greatest thing you can do. At least against yellow, because you know they play the... Oh, there's a loose one. You know they play TK, and it just makes your, their TK so good. What is the purple? Is it Mastamon? Is he playing Mastamon in this deck? Off we go to TCG player. Yeah, I think that's Mastamon. I mean, it makes sense. You can evolve it on top of a level 5. It deals with security control, kinda. And then you get to put Lord, not Lord Knight, um, his Horde Defeat on top of it. That's pretty cool, actually. This is when it's actually just not Mastamon and some different purple. No, no. It looks like it has the yellow symbol on it, too. We're gonna say it's Mastamon. Terrence will inevitably find me and be like, no, you idiot, it's not Mastamon. Alright, Dustin plays out Izzy, or has Izzy on the board now. Let's keep putting rookies on the board. The issue is he gave him, oh, it doesn't matter, because TK is there. I was like, he gave him three, but... So what he can do is he can detach two, yep, shoot something, play Lord Knight, swing Lord Knight. Potentially play another guy that will kill the other per the other person. Or delete the other Digimon. He's got his arm on him, man. I don't know if that's enough. Can't tell how big the guy is. But I feel like he's a 2k. Alright, gonna attack in. I'm gonna play the knight. Or I'll kill the thing. Alright, hits the owl. Does he have another Lord Knight? He's gonna go to three anyways, right? I'm pretty sure Izzy is a memory tamer.
close up of the Saruman. Okay. I'm about it. Like, it doesn't kill anything, but that's fine. This gives him another attacker for next turn. And then Dustin Starmon can only kill Terrence's Starmon right now. If he has a spiral in hand, it doesn't do very much. Claws draw. Cracks into security. It's a Bushi. Starmon the Starmon. I enjoy the, the Starmon on Starmon violence that we got going on. When set five came out, Starmon was like one of the one of the cards they showed me and I was like, ah, that thing's super cool. I'm gonna swing into the guy, kill it, summon a Kotmon. Kotmon's gonna find us. <laughs> it's gonna find us this work defeat. And something. That's such an interesting interaction that it grabs Gord. Falls on the blocker, gets a blinding ray. Not that it's needed, it falls into the other blocker. Dustin, I feel like, has to do a lot here to get back from this situation. He's up on life, but. Terrence's board is just a lot better. This matchup is just very interesting to watch because, like, can Lord Nightmon set up the comp like, set up its chain before Rookie Rush can kill it? Right, this one's gonna draw. Starmon's the Pulse Mom. This should just be game. I think he was given enough memory to kill through this part, right? Attack. Summon Knight. Kill the dude. And then takes the damage. Knight, swing. Masquerade does nothing. And then swing, swing. More game. All right, guys, that is our that is game three of our match. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in watching, if you cannot come to the 1K this Saturday, November 6th, uh, like I said, it will be, like I said in the other video, it will be streaming live on Twitch at Alter Universes Live. Come and watch along with us. It'll be a whole day of Digimon content from round one to top cut. All right, have a great day.